effort to save more lives, Kansas Governor Laura Kelly is announcing a new statewide mask mandate, but it's not like the one she issued back in July. KCTV5 stands for you. Betsy Webster joins us live with the details tonight. Betsy? Well, Brad, in just a minute, I'm going to explain to you why I am standing here outside the KU health system. But first, let me give you a quick rundown of that new executive order. It takes away the one size fits all approach of the July mask mandate that so many counties rebuffed. It gives each county one week to come up with its own mask ordinance that, quote, in the governor's words, works for them and their residents. But if they don't create their own, then they will automatically be opted into the state rules. Now, mind you, there is still room for counties to intentionally opt out entirely, but they need to take specific legislative action to do that. Now, the reason I am here at the KU Health System is that when Governor Kelly made that announcement today, she prefaced it with a speech about why this was necessary. And she highlighted stories of exhausted healthcare professionals. One of the ones she named is a chaplain here at the KU Health System who has been keeping a video diary of the pandemic. I'm Kathy. I'm a chaplain at the University of Kansas Health System. Kathy Regelman's videos often start with this. It's the end of the day on Friday, and it ended up being a really challenging day. It's not meant to be repetitive, but that's the nature of nine months of patient care in a pandemic. My heart goes out to these patients and families, and I, I don't know. I just feel really drained after seeing how sick these patients are and just holding on to hope that things are going to get better for them. She spends her days here providing emotional and spiritual support. Governor Kelly today described how, because of visitation restrictions, Regelman sometimes sits outside patients' rooms and speaks on the phone with their family members. To let them know she's watching over and praying for their loved ones in their very last moments. Regelman talks about how hard it's been for her not to see her daughter for so long. Since I feel like I'm the risk factor for my family. And how the stress is weighing on medical staff. It just seems to be that everyone's feeling the weight of what this is doing and the length of time that it is going on. I look forward to the day when it's not like this. Now, Johnson and Wyandotte counties already opted into the governor's July mask mandate, so they are exempt from this. I am working to get an up-to-date list of where all of the Kansas counties in our region stand, but I can tell you that in Leavenworth, I got word tonight that the city will be holding a special meeting of the city commission tomorrow to consider a proposed mask mandate there. Reporting live in KCK, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.